as we gather here today, it is evident that we stand at the precipice of an AI-driven revolution. One that is shaping industries and redefining the way we work and communicate. In an age where video content reigns supreme, AI has emerged as a game changer. Whether it's enhanced visuals, refining audio, or adding special effects, AI is pushing the boundaries of what's possible compared to what is on the reality. Whether it is predicting future trends, identifying anomalies, or generating comprehensive reports, AI is revolutionizing the way businesses harness the power of data. All of you are aware that in today's time, data is everything. Data is the goal. And how you use that to create value and worth for your business becomes paramount importance. Whenever we go to client, whenever we report anything to any authority, there need to be a proper presentation. And what are the tools that can be used? What are the use cases a CA can use through AI reporting, saving his time and making his practice technologically forward based? So friends, now let's welcome Alok Sethi. So over to you, Alok ji, for your use case. Quickly. Thank you, sir. Good evening, yeah. everyone. Uh, so I'll be presenting a case on Microsoft ClipChamp. It's a tool which you can use for uh, creating presentations and videos. I'll just share my PPT first and then I'll show you how you can use it. So basically we are going to look at uh, Microsoft Clip Jam. It's a Microsoft AI tool, uh, which you can use online as well as offline. Uh, now what data you require to create a presentation or a video is images or a video which you have. It will work only online. That means you have to have an internet connectivity to use this tool. Uh, it will take 5 to 10 minutes to create your video depending on the files or the images you are putting. And what all you can do using this, you can do video creation, editing and recording. So let's go to the tool. So... So you have to just type in clipjam.com and it will take you to the website of Clipjam. You have to log in you are, uh, using your uh, Microsoft account. It will require a Microsoft account. Once you log in, you can click on create a video with AI. So as you do that, it will ask you like what is the title of your video. So it is loading. I'll just say, I want to create a video on GST, introduction to GST. So I'll just type in introduction to GST. Once I do that, it will ask me to upload some images. So I'll just click on this and I'll select all the images which I want to incorporate in my video. So these images are loaded, you can see, and uh, once you do that, you will see a next button. Actually, this is not properly loaded, loaded. That's why you're not able to see all these, but here you see a title, which you can give to your video. Here are the images which you have uploaded. Now you click on next. Now, when you click on next, it gives you different themes and how you, uh, what you want to do. You want to add any music or you want to add in video and all this thing that you can do. So it is generating a, a kind of a video teaser using the images that we have uploaded. So by the time it is done, uh, I'll show you one more thing, which is there. It, there is a desktop application of this software, Microsoft Clip Jam. So you can download it and install it on your system also. So you don't have to depend on the internet uh, always. And you can use the application also. 
So it's just doing the processing work. Once the processing is done, you will be able to see that uh, a video will come. I'm showing you the offline version of this tool. So again, you, you see a same similar panel uh, here where you can create a video from starting or you can create a video from AI. So when you click on create a video with AI, here you see, here is the title of the video. So I'll say introduction, introduction to GST. And here again, I'll upload all the images, which I did. So I had created a folder where I had kept all the images that I want for the video. And uh, I'll select all this and I'll put. So it'll upload all the images. If you number the images from one to 10 or 12, it will give you all the images in sequence. So that is the right way to go about it. Instead of giving some name, give them number in serial order. And then you have to, you can select different styles, like what kind of style you want to keep, what kind of color code you want to keep. It will review and it'll create. Once it is ready, you will get the next button. So let us see if we are, yeah. So here, what it will do is it'll ask you two modes, whether it is a landscape or a portrait. Suppose you're creating for a, a short video or an Instagram video, you can select a portrait. If you want to put it on a YouTube, you can select a, a landscape and then click on next. So once on once you click on next, it will process it again. And then you will be able to uh, see a preview. And if you want to add anything, uh, uh, a title or subtitle or captions, you can add. But you'll get a music uh, all on inbuilt thing and you don't have to give any animations and all. It will automatically do it for you. So here, this is there. Uh, it is asking me to save the video it is creating the video so once the video creation is done then i can save it on my onedrive or i can download it or i can directly upload to youtube tiktok linkedin so it's very simple it's very easy to use and it's very handy also Suppose you want to create, you want to upload to your YouTube. So you have to first connect to your YouTube. You have to just log into your Gmail account and select the account which is connected to your YouTube. It will directly take you to your YouTube channel and it will be uploaded over there. So you are integrating your ClipChamp with your uh, YouTube. If you want to see a preview before it is done, so I'm just waiting. Yeah, it's done. So we'll click on next. Now here you can see a preview of your video. So it has automatically created a music. It has automatically created the slides. So suppose you want to create an introduction for your firm or anything, uh, you want to create a video profile, you can use that. You can change the music, you can change the font. Let us uh, just export this. And I was showing here how you can upload this to your uh, YouTube. So you can define the, uh, the category, like let's say it is for education. So I, we can put the, we can select the education category here. Let's say people then log and upload. So it is directly uploading and it is now exporting my video, which is being created. You can download it and save it on your desktop and you can share it across. So this is uh, in seconds, you can see that the video is created. And now I'll show you how does it look like. Last two minutes. Two minutes. So 
so this is how your uh, video is done now so now see this is uploaded on my youtube also and i'll show you by clicking on the link and uh, you can directly see that without doing anything without uh, just just importing the images your video is uh, uploaded so you can create any video and you can upload it on youtube as well and you can share it so it's a tool which you can use to uh, to market your education to 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 uh, present your use uh, to present your ppts or your videos uh, to your clients, to your pro your profile or anything that you want to share. So that's all for my section. Thank you, Alok City Ji. It was a very useful presentation on the Microsoft app, which is using AI for creation of video and the <clears throat> Microsoft Clip tool, Champ. That is Clip Champ. Now, when you have seen the use case of Alok City Ji, you can visualize that you can use this for your training purpose also in your office because yes. in many offices there is a changeover of articles changeover of employees if you prepare a video of your uh, sop video of your office procedures by using this then it goes into your library and people can watch them the orientation of your new member can be done through these videos and it is a very good tool so thank you alok setiji for sharing a video use case how to prepare it and how to use and you have given a very good use case of a gst introduction i am also passionate uh, of gst and now my next new passion is ai so you AI. have much both the passion today so thank you, Alok Sethi. Uh, in spite of your busy schedule, you have shown the power of AI and the power of Microsoft uh, uh, Clip Champ and presentation skill sets through videos. So thank you.